want the right person to hear me and understand that if you are watching this right now, God wanted you to see this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. Also turn on my post notifications so you know every single time I post. Guys, at this point we are on 3,800 subscribers and I personally feel like it's time for us to get to 4K. So if you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button. If your mom, your dad, your uncle, your cousin, your brother, your boyfriend, your lover, your girlfriend, ah if they haven't subscribed yet then please grab their phones at this instant and click the subscribe button from their phones and let's get to 4k guys so today's video is not one that I actually had anticipated on making and this is very very impromptu but it's a message that has been laid in my heart honestly this is a message for those who need to hear it and that is the message of it's not too late it's not over for you it will happen and what do i mean by that so today okay i'm gonna try i promise i'm gonna try not to make this video a super long one especially because i'm just sharing like a message but um the point i'm trying to make with that is you know being a young person in this time is so difficult if i do say so myself honestly you look around you and you're doing good for someone who's in their 20s you know like things are making sense but then you look on instagram and people who are the same age as you who are younger than you seem emphasis on seem seem like they're doing so much better than you let's be honest with ourselves here i don't want anyone to be like i don't care what people say uh, uh. let's be real i'm talking about the times where you get into your feelings the times where you look at yourself and you get insecure the times where you look at where you are in life and feel like you are nowhere you are nothing and you are not gonna get anywhere i'm talking about those intimate times that we face you look at instagram and people younger than you you're you age or a bit older seem like they have it all figured out like everything they touch turns to gold and their life is, is perfect and it makes you look at yourself and think what's wrong with me why not me I know personally as a youtuber um, and it's not just limited to YouTube but people who are in other fields as well whether it is in your career whether it is academically I know that sometimes you look at other people who barely study and they get the grades that you could never get with your hours of studying. I know that there are times where you look at other YouTubers as a small YouTuber and you see them blow up so quickly or you see everyone else's channel doing so much better than yours no matter how much you try, no matter what techniques you put in. There are people who aren't even consistent, who don't work half as hard as you, who are two times way more ahead than you this is for the person right now who has been working hard on their business i mean they've been going overtime they've invested in themselves in their business they've you just done everything but it seems like no one wants to listen to you it seems like no one wants to invest in you no one wants to buy your product no matter what you try it seems like you're not being seen and this is a video for the people who feel like no matter how much i try i never get seen it never works out nothing I ever do materializes no matter how much I try and sometimes you lay there or you sit there and you cry and you say God have you forgotten me I praise you I give tithe I give offering I work in the church I do this 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 and that and Lord have you forgotten me why are you not blessing me why is it not working for me? Why does nothing I do ever work out? This is a video for those people. And my message for you today that God has laid in my heart is one day. It takes one day for your life to change. It takes one phone call it takes one day it takes meeting one person meeting one person can change your life forever 
one bad experience, believe it or not, can change your life forever. Your life can change from four o'clock to five o'clock. Your life can change. But what you need to understand is that sometimes, sometimes that one day, that one call can come after five years, after 10. And you see, that's what a lot of people don't want to tell you. It doesn't just happen. It didn't just happen. Sometimes that one day can come even after six months. You know, honestly, as people, our journeys are different and what works for one person may not work for you. You can copy what someone does to the T and get worse, bad or results that just don't even resemble theirs, even though you did exactly what they did. And that is because every man, every woman has their own journey set for them by God. And in the right time, in the appointed time, in God's time, it will come to pass. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes that under heaven there is a time for everything. In fact, let me just read it. Let me read it because it, it's such a powerful verse in the Bible. Um, and personally, I know that it's kept me motivated beyond what I can even describe. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Everything has its time. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to gain and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. But what is the purpose of me reading that? That is me saying that your time will come. And even though you're getting impatient, hold on because your time will come. But if you give up, your time won't come because you've given up. I've had downfalls and struggles. I've cried, I've mourned, I've wept. There are times where I sat on the floor because I was in so much pain emotionally. There are times where I'll go sit in the sun and don't move because I'm just in pain. There are times where I just want to pray to God when I'm in pain and all I can do is cry and I said God hear my cries it's not easy it's not an easy journey it won't be an easy journey nothing worth having comes easy but if it is yours when God appoints you when he puts you somewhere it will show it will show that God has put you there no matter who wants to fight it no matter who wishes you weren't there even the people who said you won't make it when God puts you there no one can fight it because God has the final say who is he that speaks and it come to pass when God has not commanded it who can bless who God has cursed who can curse who God has blessed all things shall work together for the good of those who love the Lord so please don't give up don't give up on yourself when God has not given up on you. I know I'm waffling here, but I'm so passionate about this message and I really want the right person to hear me and understand that if you are watching this right now, God wanted you to see this. You are never lost. Because God always has his eyes on you. You may leave. You may walk away, you may make a mistake, you may do what God does not like or may have done what God does not like. You may have just put your life in a position that you never thought you'd be in. Maybe you started doing drugs and you're addicted and you're, you know, you hang around the wrong friends and your life is in a state of total mess and you just say, I don't know where to go from here. I don't know what to touch. How can I fix it? When will I make it? When will it be me? You are not lost because God has his eye on you. And yes, you made the wrong turn. You turned left when you should have gone right. But as soon as you turned left, 
God already made a way where there was no way and you were walking in the valley of the shadow of death because you made a wrong turn but God was right there and his rod and his staff were there to comfort you the whole time you were never lost it's not over for you it's not too late don't stop don't give up don't stop praying don't stop working don't stop trying and giving your best because that one day will come the day that God has already destined for you God is in control that one day will come that one call will come that one meeting will come that one instance that one hour that one second that will change your life and consequently change the life of your family it will only come if you don't give up I want to end this video off with some key points and that is number one don't give up number two comparison is the killer of joy stop comparing yourself to people on Instagram or to this person and that person and I, and I know it's easier said than done but you have to catch yourself in that moment and say stop it I'm only competing with myself I'm comparing the only thing I'm comparing myself to is who I was before Comparison is a killer of joy. Number three, peace be still. And what I'm saying by that is be at peace. Easier said than done, I know, but find peace in knowing that God is in control and God has his eyes on you and he's not forgotten you. But also understand that having peace, peace is in the decisions that you choose to make daily. Seek peace in your actions, in your family, in your life get rid of things and people that you need to get rid of for the sake of your peace and mental health and remember that God is peace Jesus is the Prince of Peace number four people have this misconception that people are great because they have lots of money and that's not true I personally believe that it is not things that make a man great someone is not great because they've got money or they've got cars or they've got whatever but it is a great man that does great things that makes things great and by man I don't mean like a male I mean like a human like the human race man but anyway it is a man slash woman who makes things great and who does great things and greatness is something that you are born with that God has instilled in you. Learn to see the greatness in yourself and the greatness in those around you. Don't just look at Oprah and Jeff and all these people for inspiration. Some of you are surrounded by great leaders right in your friend group, right next door, in your family. Learn to see the greatness that surrounds you and the greatness within yourself that God has placed in you because you're already great and everything you need is already in you and it's been placed by God but you must see it in order to use it and last but not least forget not the Lord your God remember God always in good in bad remember him thank him hold on don't give up don't give in his eyes are on you always you are not forsaken he will never leave you nor forsake you be faithful in the good as you were in the bad. Or be faithful in the bad as you were in the good. Either way, don't forget God. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Any videos that you want to see, please comment down below. Seriously, guys, like, I need video ideas, not gonna lie. So any videos you want to see, please comment down below. Peace and love, guys.